Jetstream Mock Massage had a part in it. Jetstream was part of the Dash. Uh, Moxie was part of the back row challenge in the main event. And then uh, Not Whole Market also. Not Whole Market and Jetstream did the $200 Dash, the bonus Dash, which was fun to watch. It was fun to watch because it was, you know, you, it's funny how you put six cars out for six laps. Say, okay, winner take all, 200 bucks. <laughs> how hard these guys will drive. <laughs> I mean, yeah. really. We've seen guys, I, I, we can all say we've seen guys destroy race cars in a trophy dash. They will do it for the beer cup. They will. Well, especially, I mean, did you see the trophies this year? They Jeff, Jeff Hansen put together some cool I purposely trophies. didn't look at him. They were, well, <laughs> let's put it this way and take it for what it's worth. The trophies were full. Yeah, they had full beers. Wow. That's pretty awesome right there. That's really awesome. See, that's why I wanted to be a part of it. It's yeah. Next um, year, hey, I'm telling you. Where's our list? Right here. Bring it to me. What's our next topic? It's like mm-hmm. Cottage Grove. Yeah. Okay. Cottage Grove. Um, Heather Boyce is going to call us. We're going to talk to Heather about their extended season. Kind of talk about what she's doing down there. I have got to give that girl props. She has done a fantastic job with Cottage Grove this year. Agree. Oh yeah, definitely. She is top notch. The stuff. The stuff she does to bring fans in to make it better for the racers, it's just amazing all the all the new things that she's thought of to just make that place thrive. She's done she was creative this year. She really was. I mean she's I think it was her sixtieth year, so there was times where like the sixtieth person got in free and they had uh, all kinds of, of, of cool stuff they did to, to get the fans in. And I think in today's world, when everybody is so busy there's so much to do to get people to the racetrack. You, you have to be creative, and she has done. Uh, she's done an awesome job with that this year. We're going to get her to call in here, and we're going to talk about their um, their extended season. You guys ever and remember anybody ever extending a season around here? I, you know, it's a gamble too because a lot of work goes into prepping the track and the facility. And if it rains, this is the Pacific Northwest. This um, is the one year I could see it actually paying off. So far, so good. Let's hope. I mean, it was seventy-eight or eighty-seven degrees here today. You gonna go down and race down there, Sam? Uh, I'm gonna go down there on the seventh, but I'm not gonna be in the modified. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what are you driving? I uh, am actually gonna drive a dwarf car. Have you ever been in one? I have been in one once. Really? Yeah, in okay. Salem Indoor, and those things are a blast. Whose car are you driving? Um, I'm trying to get into Clayton Parsons. Okay, car. yeah, nice little ride. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Good little deal. Before and it was, a, it was a blast. Those things are a lot of fun. Yeah, those things look like a wild little ride. So, um, and they are fun to watch at Salem Speedway, watching uh, Danny Altam and Brian Smith and some of the other guys. How does and, Brian Smith get in one of those things? <laughs> I was just going to ask the same. question. That is one of the <clears throat> biggest mysteries on the face of the planet. A guy named Big Brian. They're actually a lot bigger inside than you think, than looking at them. Heather Boyce, welcome to Northwest Dirt News. How are you? We are doing well. We're sit- we're getting ready to talk about Cottage Grove, and we thought, well, if we're going to talk about Cottage Grove, we better put Heather on the air because of what you've done with that racetrack this year. We were just talking about you know, all the stuff you've done to get the people in there and the creativity and the fantastic job you've done with that track. Um, you've got people talking. In that, go. Well, and that's that's exactly it. You guys have done a fantastic job, a great job with what you got to work with down there and kind of got, got into a situation where um, you took a big gamble. And so far, you've been, you've been doing all the right things. I mean, you've got people in the stands. You've got cars. Let's talk about what you're doing, how you're doing it, and the success that Cottage Grove saw this year. So we're extending the season down there. Yeah, was it three races? Now these are 
Right. So, but there's those are all non-points. We're having some technical difficulty. I can hear you. Some of the listeners can't. We're going to keep talking, and we'll play this. Um, get her on speaker, Joel. And uh, <clears throat> are you there? I am. Can you guys hear her now? Say something. Um, hi, guys. <laughs> you should be able to hear her now. I don't know why you wouldn't. Nobody's responding. What did you do, Joel? Uh-oh. Oh, so anyway, this is all being recorded. We can play it back uh, if they have to go. Okay, so they can't hear okay. you, but it sounds like you're far away. So again, we're going to extend the races. Um, you extended two, and you've already had one of those. Am I right when I say that? No, no. Our first extended race is this Saturday, and then we're running um, October 7th and 14th as well. Okay, and those classes on hand Free for both. Both of those ra- both of those races are talk about the classes you're going to run. This Saturday, we've got late models, limited sprint, sport mods, street stocks, and hornets. Um, on the 7th, we've got modified, limited sprint, dwarf cars, sport mods, and hornets. And on October 14th, we've got late models, sport mods, street stocks, hornets, and 360 sprint. That's a full schedule. You're probably expecting a lot of yeah. cars. Yeah. I, I think that we should have pretty good turnouts in all yeah. the classes. We tried to make sure we didn't run over the top of anything else that's happening on any of those days at some other tracks that are still going. And um, we've had really good response from drivers when we took the flyers around, when we put it on Facebook and different things. It sounds like guys are really excited to come out and run them. So I think we're going to have pretty full shows. Well, I think any time you extend the racing season at your track, you're probably going to be the most popular race promoter in the state. <laughs> I mean, you I know, know. <laughs> I know I'm excited to get down there for at least one of the nights with my Hornet get at least one more race in, so it'll yep. be fun. Dom's probably going to come down yeah. uh, before we head off right. to the Bud Nationals. Yep. He's going to be down there with his car running. And uh, when did this whole start of, of you know talking about extending the season, when did, when did this come about and what was the final straw and saying, yeah, let's do it? You know, we just kind of had looked at stuff, and it was actually when we were getting down to the end of the, the point seasons and looking at how few times some of the classes actually got to race because of all the rainouts. And we thought, you know, if the weather will stay good for the next few weeks, why not try to to get some more in and give some guys another couple chances to get out and get a little bit more racing in. So. Yeah, get a little more seat time, have a little more fun. And it's a great decision. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all for it. Anytime we can make our yeah. race season longer. Um, let's uh, 2017, you saw some, you saw a lot, of, a lot of racing down there at Cottage Grove. Let's, uh, let's give some shout-outs to your track champions this year. I'm sorry, what was that? Let's give a shout-out to some of your track champions. You guys had a lot of racing going on down there, and the guys that won championships, I mean, they earned it down there. Oh, yeah. No, we definitely had some some really good battles. Um, Our track champions this year, they have all deserve a ton of kudos. We got Casey Scott in the Hornet class, and he's he's such a great guy. He actually put some other drivers in those cars a few times. Evan Britton. was our street stock champion and he's actually been a champion a couple years ago and that class is growing a lot down here which is good to see the sport mod class that class just took off um and it's got such talented drivers and the points were so close buddy mccargue won that one um but that was just i mean going into that last race they were just a few points apart same thing with the the modified class we you know gray ferrando got the championship in that but he was and such a tight point battle with Jake Maiden all year. Um, our limited sprints, Ricky Ashley got that one. That was really great to see him get a championship in the sprint car class. Uh, our late model champion was Curtis Sounds, which he just does a phenomenal job in that late model. And then our 360 champion this year was Kyle Miller. Um, he barely lost it last year, so it was really, really cool to see him get that this year. We're very proud of all those guys. Yeah, you guys have got a, a great a great program going down there. Next year, are you going to pull off some of the uh, promotions that you did? I mean, you had some great promotions this year to get the people in the stands. What, this was your 60th year of racing at, at Cottage Grove, right? 
No, this was actually our 61st. 61st. Last year was our 60th. So oh. last year we did the, you know, the 60th person all year got in free and, and some of that fun stuff. But, um, you know, I don't I don't know what's going to happen next year, but I, I think that doing those promotions are a lot of fun and sometimes get some new people that maybe have never been out here before and try to get them back. And that's exactly what you want to do. You want to get the new people there because the people that know, they know. You get the people out there that haven't yeah. been there, and they see what kind of product you have down there at Cottage Grove. I mean, it truly is it, it's a racy little track. Not the biggest track, but it's got those banks on it that I mean, you could skydive off of, and it makes the racing just incredible. Yeah, it it does, you know, and, and we have the secret weapon, Brian Crockett. Well, I guess it's not so secret, but Brian does such a such a great job down here for us, and we're really, really happy we've got him, all of the crew down here, you know, I – Everybody likes to say my name on this show and thank me, but I've got some amazing staff, and I couldn't do it without them. It is a total team effort when it comes to running a racetrack. And, you know, like you said, Absolutely. Brian is known for his expertise on, on the grader and, and, the, and the track prep, and that is a huge benefit to Cottage Grove, no doubt. You guys have got a really good racetrack down there. Yeah, i got to tell you this, Heather. You. Of all the tracks, believe it or not, my wife's favorite, is your track cottage grove she's always talks about it i live across the street from willamette obviously and that's where i first was introduced to dirt track racing but her favorite one where she used to watch her dad race a lot was cottage grove so she loves your track i just had to tell you that that's awesome (laughs) thank you and you know we hear that a lot there's a lot of people who's because we've been around a long time and they have memories of their parents racing their grandparents racing here and and that that's pretty cool to hear i can remember being a kid Growing up and and going down south with, with with my uncle to watch you know some of my early heroes in racing and I'm talking about Jay Bugby and and Don Wilson and you know Don Hood and those guys it, it was just I remember going to Cottage Grove as a kid and, and sitting there in the stands thinking man this track is so little you know when you when you see it at Willamette <laughs> but the racing there I mean those guys it was a dogfight it was like Kamikaze pilots I mean you get that kind of talent on a short racy track like that you're gonna get a good show yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and you I, do have a lot of talent out here. I don't know uh, if you listen to the show much. I don't know what you if you've heard anything I've had to say about Cottage Grove, but I I I said it uh, several times on the air this year. I am not a sprint car fan. The only place I think I've heard you say that actually, well, I, I'm pretty sure I've heard you say that. Yeah. But to finish <laughs> that off, if I'm going to watch sprint cars, the only place I like to watch sprint cars is at Cottage Grove. Willamette, they just I think it's too big and they get they get scattered out and and Cottage Grove's got that bull ring speed of the high banks and that is like the premier place to watch sprint cars if you're a sprint car fan. Yeah, it's more like Eldora is where it's that nice tight round track. What's well, yeah, but the, the speed at Eldora is awesome, yeah. but the racing at yeah. Cottage Grove, I mean, as a sprint car fan, arguably in the top five in the country, sprint cars. Yeah, and you know we've we've been on some pretty, pretty big names as top five tracks. So well, it, it is cool. This place has a lot of history, and and it's definitely a great place to be. And I'm a lot, a lot of this world of outlaw drivers will tell you that's one of that's one of their favorite drivers or one of their favorite tracks on when they make their visits there. Yeah, yeah, and you know I, I think there's been some pretty good sprint car races up at Willamette here in the last few years too I actually um I've seen a lot of but that's just not what you guys have a lot of so there's not there's not a weekly show to really compare it to but right and I'm not saying that uh, that sprint cars are bad I'm talking about just the racing (laughs) the type of racing I like to watch is the door-to-door racing with the late models but the sprint cars kind of give you that at at Cottage Grove yeah yeah just because it is the smaller I mean, if, if you own a sprint car and you live in Oregon, that's the track to go to. No, there's no question. Yeah. There's no question. That's And that, and, and if you're going to race a sprint car in Oregon and you want to race the best talent in sprint cars, you go to Cottage Grove. There's no, are we there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. So what's – okay, let, let your next race. Let's talk about that. Let's give it a plug. Let's give some uh, – you know, shout out to some of the sponsors helping you out, and then we're going to move on to our next segment. Okay. You're – you're breaking on. I breaking up. I can't. I couldn't hear you again there. So let's let's talk about the next race coming up. Let's give uh, some okay. shout outs to some of the track sponsors helping you out this year, and then we're going to move on to our next segment of the show. 